So obviously, uh, I'm for it. But let me just say this. Eight years ago, I was in this very room sitting back there when I watched the Resolutions Committee actually place this question before the body of the SREC to be a ballot proposition. And the argument then was very simple. Let the Republican voters speak. I've heard all weekend that we are a party that respects the grassroots to let them speak. But then I hear Mr. Garcia stand up and essentially say that the organization that pushed this petition forward are liars. Well, here's my answer to that. I'm your huckleberry. If you want to see where the people of Texas stand on this issue, then you put it to a vote. And if it is, as the detractors say, that no one believes in it, that it's fringe, that it's tiny, so what? You've killed this discussion in the SREC and in the Republican Party for the next generation. But we have to ultimately show that we respect Article I, Section 2 of the Texas Constitution when it says that all political power is inherent in the people. We believe that the party across the street are the cancel culture folks who don't like the results of elections, and so they do the things necessary to kind of make those, their results happen, right? We believe that they're the people who don't really want the people to speak, but they give it lip service. But here we are today. Republican voters have a right to be heard on this issue. And you know what? If they say no, so be it. Why do we ask these things in the first place? Why do we have these ballot propositions? If we go in and say we know all the answers, it's nothing more than a marketing ploy. But here's what we do know. If we want to drive passionate, conservative Republican voters to the primaries, you will ask them this one question. And I quote my good friend, Dr. Matt Quartra, the world's foremost expert on independence referendums around the world. When you put questions like this on the ballot, you increase voter turnout exponentially. The average voter turnout worldwide for questions like this is 85%. So I come here not just as the leader of the organization who wrote you all an open letter and led this petition campaign with an army of thousands of volunteers, but I come here as someone who has voted Republican his entire life. I've been a candidate under the Republican banner twice. And I am imploring you, let the people vote.